chest x-ray review areas in 90 seconds. First zoom up on the apices and look for a pneumothorax by looking for a lack of lung markings and a white pleural line parallel on the chest wall just like in this case here. Then look between the ribs at the apices for a pancos tumour, in this case there's a right apical opacity and pathological fractures. Outline the first anterior rib and follow all of these down, find the posterior rib and outline all of these. Make the image small and compare the ribs. It can be easy to miss when the whole rib is missing like it is right here. Finish the bones by looking at the clavicle, humerus and scapula and any vertebral bodies that you can see. Move on to the mediastinum and use the mnemonic patacake. Check if the right paratracheal stripe is thin, make sure the azagous vein contour is small, check if the trachea is central, see if the aortic contour is smooth and you can see a concavity at the AP window, check if the carina is splayed and it should be less than a right angle. Look for the azago-esophageal recess if you can see it, and make sure the K-shaped hyla regions are okay in terms of position, density and morphology. Then E stands for everything else, so look behind the heart and check the cardiac contours well defined and there's no pneumomediastinum. Then, like a pinball machine, we've gone down the mediastinum, then go down below the diaphragm looking for lung lesions or free gas, and trace the peripheries looking for small nodules, chest wall or pleural lesions. Scan the lungs, taking the upper, mid and lower zones in turn, then give yourself another chance by inverting the film before looking at the soft tissues. And that's how you check all of your